You know, my favorite thing about these nights more than um, anything else is, uh, is the fact that in this one room, there's so many different people representing different churches, different denominations, different ages, different backgrounds, the whole deal. So many different people in the one room, but here, lifting up one voice to declare one name. And it's powerful, it's amazing. You know, my prayer is that unity, it wouldn't just be this idea that we have, but it would be a reality for us. That we would see a body of Christ more unified than ever before, because... Well, we're not getting any younger. The truth is we have a limited time here on earth, and I don't want to make the most of it, and I believe that there's such power in unity for us as the church, and um, it's too easy to become critical, it's too easy to point the finger at what everyone else is doing wrong, in the meantime you're not building anything, you're just tearing down, and I pray that we'd be builders of the church, builders of the kingdom, that we would devote ourselves, it, it takes a bigger person, and it's way more enjoyable. And you know, um, the fact is, you know, we're almost done here tonight, and, um, and um, you know, Aftermath, it's, it's not just the name of our worship project, the fact is, it's a word that we see every single day, in fact, today, it's a word that's everywhere, and, and um, you know, we, we pray for the people of Japan right now, and also those across the Pacific, and, The fact is, the world we live in, it's, it's, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. And, you know, Jesus, he, he, he made it clear, you know, in, in John 16, verse, verse 33, he said, you know, in this life, you will have trouble. But he goes on, he said, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. And, you know, people say, where's God in the mess? You know, where's God in the disaster and all the rest of it? But I believe that it's in those moments that God is most present because in those moments that we have the opportunity to rise up and be who he's called us to be, his hands and feet. That's where Jesus is. And so, um, you know, with that as present as it is, the fact is now in our end of the world, we've had a, a, a horrific summer for us. It's your winter, but our summer. And terrible floods and, um, and storms and the whole deal. And, and uh, just over a, a week or two ago, uh, there was a, an earthquake in New Zealand. And many of our guys from New Zealand, and um, you know, a city called Christchurch was was um, brought to its knees. It wasn't prepared for it, and um, and it was the second earthquake they've had in three months. And uh, the place is just ruined. Hundreds of people lost their lives, and, and uh, hundreds more lost everything: their homes, their businesses. And, and we thought, uh, well, we could we do something to reach out our hand to them. And the fact is, you know, like disaster upon disaster, it's easy to to forget. People, the people are trying to rebuild, they're dealing with loss, and uh, we can pray for them and we should, and, and when we can, we should lend a hand, we should. But one thing that we can do that people need is we can offer money, and people need money and, and, and when they've lost everything. And uh, So we, we've got something really simple we want to do, this is, this is for the earthquake victims in New Zealand, and uh, it's no less pressing given what's happened in Japan overnight, but, uh, but there's a text there, and it's, it's 85944. And if you text IHEART to that number, it's going to cost you ten dollars. You, re you respond, they write back and confirm with yes. It costs you ten dollars on your phone bill. And we've been doing this since Seattle, all the way through to this uh, last night in Boston. And we believe that together, through the power of unity, each of us doing something small, we can uh, we can do something significant to see people's lives restored. And all the money that's raised is going to the, the government earthquake appeal there, which is working with the Salvos and the Red Cross. And um, it's something we believe in. It's something really simple for us to do. And if your mum pays your phone bill. Well, maybe you should ask her first, or just do it and then ask her for forgiveness later. And, um, but you can text that as much as you like, you know, and I think it'd be awesome if we could do something great and say, you know what, this is, uh, this is something that we did as, as the Church of Jesus Christ in the United States of America in response to our people in need and people who, whose lives are broken. And you know what, we're about to leave this place, it's almost done, but there's people here I know, and, and once you walk out these doors, you go back into to real life, and, um, and we're facing many challenges and, and pains and different struggles, we all do. And, and, and you know, that, that, that message, when Jesus said, you know, take heart, I have overcome the world, it was for you. And he is with us, and I pray that we would understand that God is Emmanuel, he is with us, you know, in the trials and the struggles and the, 
in, in you know, we're facing health issues or relationship struggles or financial issues. God is with us, you know, and, and uh, the fight we're in has already been won, you know, and um, I pray that you understand that God is with you, that, and, um, that He's with you, and, and I don't know about you, but that I find great courage in that in my life and the whole deal. So, look, we're going to sing this song, and if you know it, sing it with me. And, if not, I pray that um, I pray that these words bless you.